everybody, this is Ken Krushka with some more typewriter thoughts. I'm not going to be labeling these shows as typewriter thoughts anymore. I'm just going to title them as whatever the show is about. Because I'm into film projectors and old films, and I'm going to be working on a Super 8 movie projector because, you know, I, I don't quite get the bicycle typewriter analogy that, you know, Scholes at the Milwaukee Public Museum has his bicycle collection and that's great. I, I just don't get it. I get the film the film and the typewriter connection. But um one of the things I wanted to talk about now that I've read Richard Platt's The Typewriter Revolution, it has given me a head full of ideas. And one of one of those ideas is actually going to be custom painting a typewriter. So I ordered one for 25 bucks on eBay. I've made some guy an offer and he took it. It'll be a perfect candidate for a custom paint job. I don't know how that... I know it'll turn out good. I'll, I'll give it the right amount of time. But uh, I wanted to talk about carbon paper. When you're using carbon paper, that you should... Um, Keep your old ribbon on. If your ribbon's old and dead and you think, oh, I'll just pack some carbon paper in there, uh, leave the old ribbon because it softens the blow to the platen in the page. It, it is an impact protection thing. Without it, you're hitting these periods and everything else, and they're just impaling, and then that paper feels like braille when you're done. Um, if you got a dead old ribbon, even if you don't have a ribbon, if you just have one, anything, anything is better than nothing, you know. Because I've seen people doing these videos on here, and they're they're not using their their ribbon. They've just gone to carbon paper, and they're hitting right into that platen. It's, it's hard to watch that, but they just don't know. So you want to soften your blow and leave that old ribbon on there. You all know how carbon paper works, though it transfers the whatever you just type and wherever it winds up. I guess that was it. So, so that I just wanted to note. But yeah, I, I got my old Coast Guard uh, laundry bags and I thought maybe I could cut them up for covers, but that defeats the purpose of having them out. These, these typewriters have lived through more than a little dust. They lived through angry letters of Mothers who had to write Richard Nixon and say they had lost their children in Vietnam, and you know that's a pretty hard hit you got to think about on a key when people would type angry letters like that. So, so um, I'm going to enjoy mine. I'm going to leave them out on this shelf. I'm going to look at them. They're accessible. What was quicker before for me just to, in a pinch, grab a paper and a pen and write down what I wanted to before I'd go get the case open it up, get a typewriter out. You know, now they're accessible. They're going to be right there. I can look at them. I'm not worried about a little dust. I'm going to enjoy them. But, uh, that was a, that was thanks to reading Richard Platt's book that I got this nice little shelf going now. And, uh, those were just a few of my thoughts for the day, so... Have a great day, everybody. Take good care now. Another thing about an 8mm film projector, you'll never see this on TV. A raven typing his name, Jimmy, on a typewriter. So, uh, that's what I'm going to leave you guys today, I think. Maybe you'll pick up your own little video cameras. Good day, everybody.